Hello dear friends, get ready for some shocking news. Buckingham Palace is shocked by King Charles III's recent actions towards his stepson Tom Parker Bowles, Queen Camilla's son from a previous marriage. While the king's relationship with his stepson has always been close, recent events indicate growing tensions between the two. We now learn how King Charles III publicly criticized his famous stepson, causing quite a stir and putting himself at odds with his wife, Queen Camilla Parker Bowles. It all happened on the morning of July 10th, so get ready for a juicy story. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts on King Charles III and his attempts to distance himself from Queen Camilla's family in the comments. Let's all get to the bottom of this story together. The current situation with King Charles III is truly a royal mess. The English monarch wants to be reunited with Prince Harry and his children, but also wants to distance himself from others, particularly Tom Parker Bowles. Tom, Queen Camilla's son from a previous marriage to Andrew Parker Bowles, has always been close to the king, even before his marriage to the queen. However, since the king's ascension to the throne, their relationship has changed significantly, leading to the current conflict. According to some reports, Tom Parker Bowles allegedly asked King Charles III, his stepfather and stepmother for permission to hold a series of family photo shoots in the gardens of Buckingham Palace. However, the king declined the request, citing his busy schedule and the inappropriateness of using Buckingham Palace as a location for a photo shoot. This refusal is said to have infuriated Queen Camilla Parker Bowles. On the morning of July 10, despite having a royal meeting scheduled on the king's schedule, she chose to cancel her attendance while King Charles III carried out his royal duties as usual. The incident highlights the ongoing marital discord in the British royal family, with recent clashes and disagreements fueling rumors of a breakup. What is your opinion on the matter? Should King Charles III have supported his stepson, or was setting boundaries the right decision? Share your opinion in the comments, give this video a like and follow updates on your favorite royal news channel. Warm wishes dear friends, welcome to your trusted source of royal news. Today we will delve into a monumental event that took place in England and came to light only recently. We will find out what hidden inheritance the great Queen Elizabeth II left to her grandson, considered by many to be her favorite, Prince Harry. According to royal experts, this revelation made Queen Camilla Parker Bowles feel utterly humiliated. So let's delve into this topic right here on your favorite channel. But before we do a small request, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button and bell icon if you haven't already. That way you'll always receive our content, which is completely free and just for you, our valued audience. Let's talk about how you perceived the relationship between Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Harry in the past. Do you think it was a real bond between grandmother and grandson, or was it just a formal monarchical relationship? Let's share our thoughts on this together. Now let's reveal that famous hidden inheritance that Queen Elizabeth left to Prince Harry, which apparently infuriated Queen Camilla. As you may have guessed, a special thanks to Orlando for an update from our production room. We're reporting that tensions between Princes Harry and William have escalated over the issue of strict protocol ahead of Harry's wedding to Meghan in 2018. William insisted Harry shave to honor royal tradition and became furious when Harry refused, claiming the late queen had given him permission. Harry even presented historical images of bearded royal ancestors to back up his argument. This controversy is not only indicative of differences in protocol, but also of unresolved personal differences between the brothers. Orlando, how might these disagreements affect the future of the British monarchy? More details coming up. In fact, several situations have arisen that show Queen Elizabeth clearly favored Prince Harry when it came to protocols. Especially in the case of Queen Camilla, she has created significant obstacles in the way of fulfilling the wishes of the current queen consort. With her grandson, however, she was always very flexible as a mother speaking of her son. In particular, Queen Elizabeth recently suggested none other than Frogmore Cottage in Windsor Park as a new home for Harry and Meghan Markle. Apparently, such an inheritance greatly angered Queen Camilla, as she herself had dreamed of living there. It made her feel deeply humiliated in front of her peers, 
as she had once vowed that this would be her next residence with Prince Charles. It is also worth noting that Queen Elizabeth has always kept a considerable distance from Queen Camilla. Moreover, she chose not to attend the English Queen Consort's church wedding to the current King Charles III. It was a powerful moment, a pivotal moment when Prince Harry's words echoed through the halls of Windsor, expressing doubts about his current stepmother and fears that she might abuse the secrets of the royal household. Here we see the many complex and challenging situations that arise in the English royal family. And here at Royal News, we will keep you up to date with all the latest developments. So stay tuned to this channel where we value and respect you the most by providing you with the best content. Thank you. Surprisingly, recent revelations about the beloved Diana, Princess of Wales have cast a shadow over Queen Camilla Parker Bowles and to some extent, King Charles III. These revelations, coming from Diana herself, have garnered a lot of attention, becoming a major topic not only in England, but around the world. Get ready for this story to unfold with incredible force. We ask you to show your support for the eternal memory of Diana, Princess of Wales by liking this video and leaving your comments below. Share where you are and whether or not you admire the late princess. Our film crew is ready to give you all the details related to the revelations that have come to light about Diana, Princess of Wales. These revelations paint a less than flattering picture of her ex-husband, King Charles, and current queen consort Camilla. Thanks to Orlando joining our set, we bring you the latest on the British royal family. As Mailda UK points out, King Charles and Queen Camilla have been linked in marriage for over five decades. Now approaching her 77th birthday, Camilla's influence within the royal community has grown significantly, especially over the past year. Amidst the royal family's health issues, Camilla has proven that she is capable of stepping on stage and keeping the royal show going. Experts such as Jenny Bond recognize how far she has come. They note her elegance, intelligence, and confidence in her current role, which is in stark contrast to her early days. Bond emphasizes Camilla's commitment to her relationship with Charles, her ability to adapt to new responsibilities, and her recent tribute to the British staff. Orlando, how do you think Camilla has affected the public's perception of the British monarchy in recent years? We'll be back to you to find out more. Indeed, Jenny Bond's words are quite complimentary towards Queen Camilla. However, our aim is to present both sides of the story so that you can form your own opinion. While Bond extols Camilla's achievements, the revelations of Diana, Princess of Wales, have come to light. Diana claimed that she had repeatedly confronted Camilla Parker Bowles, accusing her of treating her like a fool. Diana, Princess of Wales, has openly stated that she divorced Charles, who was the prince at the time, because she could not tolerate three people in a relationship. This shows that Diana was against Charles and Camilla's relationship, and did not want to fall victim to infidelity. Interestingly, Prince Harry, Diana's son, also expressed his opinion about Camilla's stepmother. He compared her to a fairy tale which and suggested that she might use secret information about the monarchy for unknown purposes. In addition, he and Prince William found themselves in a state of conflict. William and Harry were the first to speak out against Charles and Camilla's marriage, given that Queen Elizabeth II refused to attend the wedding of her son Charles to Camilla and even left a conspicuous empty seat in the church to express her disapproval. Clearly, the situation is complicated. What's your opinion on the matter? Are you on the side of Diana, Princess of Wales, Prince Harry, the late Queen Elizabeth II or Queen Camilla and Jenny Bond? We value your opinion. So please share it in the comments below as we continue to honor the memory of Diana, Princess of Wales, who remains alive and vibrant in our hearts. Stay tuned for more updates from the Royal Briefing. Thank you so much.